mentioned they normally do they always come up with different things whatever and they'll say the biggest deal the biggest comeback was 11 shots at the end of 36 holes you know well like i said tom watson had a he had a five or six shot lead and i shot a 68 on saturday i think it was and uh like I said, I went from being 11 shots back time playing with Tom on Sunday the next day. I wasn't down coming out the next day. I mean, I was tickled pink. I came from no place to be in, to get into the playoff. And and it it just all of a sudden happened at the last end party, you know, in the last three or four holes. So no, when I went out yesterday, I, the next day rather, then I went out and I felt very good about my game, what I was doing because I've been driving the ball good. And, and I said, there's a, on the left back edge of the green is two traps. I want, if I miss this green, I want to put it right there in that left back corner. So I got to chip down the hill, the thing right there, and I can hit, I can hit this club strong and make sure that I have no problems down here if I want to assure I'm just look, checking everything. So I hit, hit the two iron and I aimed it at the left back corner of the green and I landed on the left back corner of the green and jumped about six feet just over the green. I looked at McKinney, I said, damn, if I know it's going to hit that good, I'd shot the flag. You know? <laughs> Bob Rosberg is doing the announcing and we all had a nickname for Bob, No Shot Bob. <laughs> because as I'm walking by him, uh, he's about 10, 20 yards away from me as I'm walking by him, I hear him saying, well, Lou has no shot over there. He's got trees, so he's got no shot. And, and I was kind of looked, didn't look. I could see the ball laying down there, and I thought, well, I, I don't have to put it in my pocket. I know I hadn't got an unplayable lie because I can see the ball from here. So I went down there and, and looked at it, and there some, he's trying, hanging low there, and, but the, the tree itself, the trunk, was no problem. I took a four iron, and I just hit a poet lunch, punch four iron down about five yards short of the green, whatever like that. And I pitched it up about six feet and seven feet, and John hit the green. He had maybe a 35 footer. And if he makes it, then I'm going to have to make mine, but he missed his. So all I had to do was two putt, but I made the putt. End of story. <laughs>